Nearly a million Australians visit Italy each year, taking in some of the greatest art of Western civilization. Now the Italians have returned the favour, lending a collection of Renaissance masterpieces to the National Gallery. Siobhan Heenu reports. As high art goes, it doesn't get much more heavenly. Botticelli, Raffaello, Bellini. The Renaissance marked a flowering of art, religion and science. It was a time of cultural rebirth, nowhere more so than in Italy. And it's from a little-known academy in the city of Bergamo that these treasures have travelled down under. There were a lot of people that said, why in Australia, why so many pictures so, so far away from Italy? But it seems Australia's taste for European art is insatiable. They have a lot of passion for culture, for arts and for our arts. The show spans two centuries, from moments of saintly tranquility to scenes of biblical brutality. Aficionados can get up close and personal with a golden age of painting. For example, of the perspective, uh, the landscapes, uh, um, they use colours uh, and uh, what is the light uh, in the paintings. Alongside awe-inspiring queens of heaven are relics of quiet reverence. The major change that we see at this time is that individuals commission altarpieces for use within the home. And of course, it was the era of the great patrons who made sure they saw themselves painted in. It's as if the saints are almost worshipping the patrons. The gallery's last summer blockbuster was record-breaking, with nearly half a million visitors. It's hoping the grandeur of this ageless art will once again bring the bustling crowds. Siobhan Heenu, ABC News, Canberra.